I feel defeated, to be honest. Like, I feel so defeated with life. I just want to give up. But... <music> Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today, I want to share with you guys that I have been going through it. Like, seriously going through it. Life has been lifing. I am making lemonade with my lemons because life is right now not treating me the kindest. But I noticed that everything that I'm going through, first and foremost, I want to share with you guys that I just experienced a car accident. My car got so messed up and you know, if y'all know me, my car is my everything. Like, my car is literally the representation of my hard work. Like, how hard I've been working and striving. Like, I, I my car is my baby. So, it's like, it makes sense. And I had some time to think about all of this, by the way. It's like, I was really in my feelings. And, you know, I'm like, I suffer from depression and anxiety. But I'm like, you know what? Like, no, I'm I'm not gonna sink into depression right now. Like, this is this situation is I'm bigger than this situation. This situation is so much smaller than me and God's plans for me. And I feel like everything has to happen for like I always preach everything happens for a reason. But honestly, I think that my car had to be attacked because Lord knows how much the car my car <laughs> lord knows how much my car meant to me and it wouldn't have affected me any other way had it not been my car so with that being said i wanted to share with you guys that like yeah it's easy to victimize yourself and say why me why is this happening to me like a lot of things have been happening in my life that i don't share with anyone or the public for that matter but i'll be taking l's like left and right i've been taking back to back l's christmas didn't even feel like christmas to me i'm such a christmas girl like i love christmas but it's just like what i love is not there anymore so like it took me to this year to realize that christmas is not the same for me anymore and i have to adjust to my new christmas spirits and my new christmas experience but like with everything in life there's always good and bad right so i was just Basically, I'm rambling on, but catch my drift because it's like I'm everywhere right now and I'm trying to ground myself to speak one topic at a time, but it is all connected. So I took my Christmas tree down because honestly, um, it was making me depressed because Christmas wasn't what I expected it to be, even though I love Christmas. My mom is here in town. She was not here for Christmas, but she was here to bring in the New Year's with me and it was great, but it's like a lot has happened and then the icing on the cake for me was my car accident like my car being damaged really like slowed me down and i feel like it was necessary god was like trying to get through me and i was just too busy going on go mode that i wasn't realizing that i actually needed to slow down and this is the only way god got through me was through my car and now i realize like why everything happens and it's because i literally have to slow down like i'm living a chaotic lifestyle right now i'm trying to keep up with bills and i'm trying to grow my social media my youtube i'm trying to be a great mother i'm trying to be a great co-worker i'm trying to be a girlfriend <laughs> i'm trying to be a good daughter like a future wife i'm trying to be everything under the sun but it's just like karina like what do you really want what what what's making you happy right now because like i swear to god i always preached 2024 was about karina being happy but it's just like i was like literally sinking myself into people pleasing mode and it wasn't going too good for me like everything was just feeling weird and it was feeling how, how i used to feel when i used to live in the bronx in new york in my mom's house and i'm like why am i feeling like this again like i'm supposed to be leveling up i'm supposed to be growing and i feel like i'm not growing and truth be told i was blocking my own blessings you know like i was not focused i was on go mode but there was no direction like i don't know where i was headed to but god like literally humbled me just now and i cried which is probably why i look like this <laughs> i already cried um i cried a ton when my car got wrecked and then and you know what's crazy about it is when my car got wrecked when i got into the car accident um which it wasn't my fault and the person fled the scene so like my life right now is like i said is really lifing there is no way for me to get like information of the other person so that my insurance would cover my car like i gotta come out of pocket a lot of money to fix my car 
um it could be worse though it could always be worse so like i'm very grateful for everything and how it's working out in my favor even though i cannot see it right now working in my favor but i understand the lesson behind it and i don't even know if i'm supposed to be sharing this with you guys like really and truly but i feel like i am and so i will but i just really wanted to come on here and tell y'all like this is one person by the ways on my that commented on my uh my uh what's this called my youtube shorts this is one person that st that stood out the most for me probably the only person that commented on this one video actually she's not but she said this is ayla brown i hope i'm pronouncing this right as a matter of fact i would screenshot and put the comment right here but she said you're so pretty you're lovely you're having a better life than i am and that really like it warmed my heart in such a way that it's it's weird because like I don't feel like I am living a life that anyone else like my I don't feel like my life is better than anyone else's life right now like life really sucks right now I'm being honest with you guys like life sucks ass right now <laughs> but I'm the type of person that I'm always optimistic and I try to be very positive so I like I'm not, I'm trying to fight the negative energy. I'm not trying to sink into that. I'm not trying to sink into the pressure, which I really was depressed for like three days, literally slumped in my bed, wasn't getting up, wasn't doing nothing. The only time I found any slight motivation was whenever my man FaceTimed me. Cause it's like, I had to fake it till I make it. And to this day, I don't even think he knows how hard this is taking a toll on me, but I feel defeated to be honest like i feel so defeated with life i just want to give up but i know that this is like i said this situation is so much smaller than what god has to offer for me so my house is messy obviously when you have people in your house my mom has been staying here my nieces they stay here because my mom is in town so like my house is really really it was really really messy um so i am doing a deep clean that also affects me a lot i've shared with you guys multiple times how a dirty home really affects me y'all can see the mess in my island like it's not put together and mind you i my island was cleared two days ago it was up until like last night it started getting like this so um but i'm in the process of cleaning right now i just wanted to come on here before like i get distracted because i know babe's about to call me soon because it's late and <laughs> after that i'm probably gonna go ahead and go to sleep so i just really wanted to come on here and share with you guys that um i'm going through it but i am finding a way through so i'm sure anyone and everyone can relate to a hard situation the holidays brings joy but it also brings some kind of blue some kind of blues into it Especially if you lost a loved one or like whatever have you, you know, different situations. Maybe you had a hard breakup or whatever your situation may be. Like it's really, it gets harder and harder. Like the older you get, I seem to notice the holidays is just not the same. And I'm looking forward to like having the same kind of holidays I used to have before. If not for me, definitely for my, for my son, for my future kids, if ever there should be extra kids. <laughs> uh but um yeah like i just want to i want to give dj the same experience that i had when i was a kid because my parents well my mom really not much so my dad but my mom really used to like go all out for christmas and the holidays and it's just like i want to be able to give that to my child like i want to keep that legacy going because it really is a beautiful feeling like when it's done right and when you're around when you're amongst the right people that love, that harmony is there. Like, it's just beautiful, but I don't know. Like, life just hasn't been well. I haven't been making the greatest decisions financially. And in general, I have not been making the, the greatest decisions ever, but it's a learning experience and I'm still moving forward. I'm cleaning my house right now so that I can uplift myself physically. Like, cause like the, the mess, y'all. The mess helps me sink into depression in a different level that I cannot explain. So I noticed that I was sinking into depression and I noticed that my house was messy. I quickly like shift the focus and was like, nah, you need to clean because you need to clean, sis, because this is affecting you in ways that you don't need right now. Like life is if life already sucks, if you already at rock bottom, there is no other route to go than to go back up. If I feel like I hit rock bottom just now. 
it's time to level up it's time to like get out your feelings by the way i think i drift topics real quick but what i really wanted to say with ayla brown thank you so much by the way because you definitely you you touched my heart and um in a humble way you know i don't ever i don't agree with your statement per se like anyone can have a better life but that just was enough for me to humble myself and remember that about the little things that count in life and um I don't feel like I'm there, you know? You are looking at me from an outsider looking in. From an outsider looking in and you don't even know me and you can say that I'm living a better life than you, then that really touches my heart because I feel like I'm not doing enough for myself. So thank you so much if you're watching this. You will definitely touch my heart and I appreciate you so much. But um, moving forward, yes, what I wanted to say, always humble thankful for the home where i live at today thankful for everything in life thankful for the the opportunity to even get a car even though i wrecked it it's in the shop right now getting fixed so i should be in i should be mobile very soon but definitely had an eye awakening where i'm like okay i need to slow down i need to redirect refocus on what my intentions are what my goals are because somehow down the line i definitely drifted from focus and i needed to slow down to realize that i'm not focused right now and i'm here just sharing with you guys because i said i'm working on my vulnerability for 2024 and we're already in 2024 so no excuse by the way happy new year to you guys <laughs> yeah i suck at this i was supposed to open up by saying happy new years so happy new years to everyone i hope everyone else is having a better new year than i am the way how i brought the way how i brought the new year in was not how i intended to it wasn't the best way to do it but here we are i hope that everyone is having a healthy and a wonderful new year so far if you started at a bumpy road like me don't worry sis we got this teamwork team effort enjoy the rest of the vloggy vlog i don't want to keep rambling on so i will See y'all later. Good morning. It is officially the next day. Um, I have my little house gown on. If you're Honduran or Garifuna, you know that this is Corabata. Oh, why did I put on a chapstick? Let me go ahead and do that because I don't like coming on the camera with dry lips. That's ugh, yucky. Oh gosh, I feel so accomplished by the way because I got a lot of stuff done yesterday. So today, I can literally have like my Sunday reset. Where it's like, I get to do my face mask and just chill in the house. Is that a pimple? Oh my gosh. Ew. Why, 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 why? Anyways, I don't do a lot of talking when I'm doing my vlogs. And I'm trying to, because I don't really know how to multitask. It's like when I start talking, I don't actually do the things that I'm supposed to be doing. Like I, whoop, sorry for the lighting. When I start to talk, I don't actually get done the things that I need to get done because I stop to talk. I cannot talk and keep doing the same thing. But I'm gonna try, so just, you know, bear with me. Uh, it's early in the morning right now. It's, it's not really early in the morning, it's 11. I woke up from since, 10 o'clock on the dot, I think. Yeah, so it's 11. I've been in the bed for like, oop, that's the camera. I've been in the bed for like an hour. I wanna say I woke up at nine though because I feel like I've been up for a little while. And I, I did wake up at nine, but then I ended up snoozing again. So I probably woke up like at nine something, close to 10. Um, maybe my cup of cold fight. But yesterday I was coming on here and I was being vulnerable. I also was a little bit you know, lit, tipsy, or whatever. I I was a little bit above the influence. I was drinking. I was smoking my hookah. And I was really in my feelings. Like, I've been in my feelings for a couple of days. As you guys could tell, I shared that with you guys yesterday already last night. Um, I got into a car accident in my car. It's not totaled, but it's um, it's at the shop getting fixed. Thank God. Because I, I could have sworn I swapped my insurance to liability because... Financially, your girl been going through it, okay? So, I was like, you know what? I cannot afford full coverage no more. Let me drop down to liability. And my understanding, Progressive told me that it was done, 
But when I called them to tell them that I got in a car accident, this was my biggest fear because I'm like, damn, I'm not going to get coverage to fix my car. I'm going to have to come out of pocket a lot of money to fix it. The guy fled the scene. So there's no like pressing charges. There's no suing. There's no even getting his insurance to cover my stuff because it was his fault. He ran his red light and hit me and fled the scene. So that's like a double whammy. No, no. Like... When I tell you I'm screwed, I'm screwed. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to get to work because I don't work that far from my home. But either one of us, me or DJ, is going to have to take an L. It's going to have to be DJ because obviously my job is strict with attendance. If I miss too many days, I could get fired. So DJ is going to have to miss school. And, you know, that's going to be that. I'm going to call them and explain the situation. But it's just like it sucks that... I even have to put my son in this situation. Like, why does he have to miss out on his education because of this idiot that didn't do nothing right, you know? But it's whatever. Like, I I understand. I understand. I really sat down yesterday. My mom left to my sister's house. She took DJ with her. So I really had a lot of alone time. I had to really sit down alone and, and sit in my thoughts and my feelings. And I got to understand the principle of everything why everything had to happen the way it did and i shared a little bit of that with you guys yesterday last night it's just crazy how life works i'm not even angry anymore i bought the last pumpkin spice at the supermarket yeah i just woke up and i look swollen still so excuse me but yeah um i feel very accomplished though like I feel like everything was necessary. I got to sit back with my, like I was saying, I got to sit with myself and ground myself, like really be in my, in my feelings. And like, I already had it at the moment to cry. Like I had a whole day, the day of the accident, that day, I, I just couldn't stop crying. Like I was just crying because I was worried about many things. If you all know, like I'm a single mom. But I was saying I was worried because I'm a single mom. I don't, you know, like I don't have much support. My mom is not from here. She's here right now. Thankfully, because if, if it wasn't for her being here at this precise moment, I don't know how I would have did it. You know, my mom was a uh, huge support for me. I'm gonna heat up my coffee again. But um my mom is like a super huge support for me. And if it wasn't for her, I don't know how I would do it because uh, she's helping me a lot with DJ and with this whole car situation. She's financially helping me as well. Um, but I really got the chance to sit with myself and really analyze the situation. It's so easy to go into victimizing mode. Like, you know, like just like, oh my God, why is this happening to me? Like bad things always happen to me and bad things always happen to me. I'll be completely honest, but I've already sat with myself and told myself that I got a lot of else to take in life. It's because I know in my heart and my faith and soul, like I have faith in the Lord and my heart and soul that my life is not supposed to be a regular life and regular people don't have regular problems. So the problems that I face be real for a reason and I just can't wait to the day that I get to live the life that I actually want to curate for myself. So I could be like, damn, all of that was worth the L, the L taking. Like all these L's that I took was worth it because now nah, look at me. But I can honestly say like, you know, like if you're a real one and you've been watching me since like when I first started my YouTube channel, you can see that, you know, my, my growth is there. I moved from one area to the next. I live in a better, better area now, better place. And I am counting my blessings always. Always humble. Um, people. It's so funny because people always think that I'm not humble. And I'm very humble. If, if only you knew how humble I was. I, I'm too damn humble. Like, too damn humble. I be. Ah! I spilled my coffee. Damn it. I just started tooting my own horn literally last year. Because I was like. You know, the reason why I did it is because I haven't been feeling confident within myself. If I'm being honest with you guys, this is like a level of transparency, this video, this whole vlog is like me being transparent and like being really truthful to myself and y'all as well. But I haven't been feeling confident and 
honestly, I have expressed this in my videos before. Like when I make my my de my self development videos, my sit down videos, I share with you guys that like confidence. My confidence has not been up to par, and this is I give y'all tips on what I do to boost myself up and to get out of that like energy. And like it's literally an ongoing thing. It's not something that you you know practice today and it's gonna be like that for the rest of your life. No, you gotta keep doing it because life really throws lemons at you and every time you they every time a lemon gets thrown on at you guess what there goes your confidence level going down 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 it just it decreases every single time and guess what life is not gonna stop throwing lemons at you so why do you have to decrease your confidence level you know so I'm saying that to say basically that um, I was suffering with confidence for like the whole year of 2023. It was really, really, really hard with me, for me to be confident. But at the same time, like I got a lot of wisdom because I got to sit back and really analyze myself, like my inner self. Like I really got to sit down with myself and, and figure out why I am the way I am. And like, what do I like? What makes me happy? What do I actually enjoy doing? You know, like, because I always... Like, when I had friends, I would always want to do what my friends are doing. But is that what I wanted to do? Like, I had to ask myself, is that what Karina wants to do? And, you know, most of the times I would be like, nah, like, I really don't care. Like, my friends like to party a lot. Even the few friends that I have now, they're still into that whole party scene. And I'm like, miss me with it. Because I don't, that does nothing for me. It doesn't even bring me, like, joy. It brings temporary joy. You know, when you're, like, under the influence, you... You feel great for that moment, but I hate waking up the next day. By the way, I woke up feeling good today. <laughs> but I hate waking up the next day and feeling like crap. And you know why I woke up feeling good today? Because I actually drank water last night. So, fun fact. If you're going to drink alcohol, make sure you sip on water. Have your little Stanley cup. Y'all, these things are expensive now. Like, they were always expensive, but they're crazy expensive now. My man was telling me that they cost $60. Some of them are for 100 Starbucks just bought one out that was pink and nice. And because I thought it was the hot pink one because I had already seen the hot pink one. And that shit is ugly. Excuse me for cursing. But that Starbucks pink Stanley Cup actually looks cute. And if I get a hold on it, I'm getting it. <laughs> but um, yeah, he just told me that that went up in price. It's super popular now. It's trending a lot. So it's like they up the prices. Thank God I bought mine when it, when it was not that popular. It was popular, but not that popular. I bought mine for thirty for thirty five dollars. Who who is spending forty plus dollars on a damn mug? Not not I. Uh uh. Even well, actually, if I was rich, I would buy it because I love aesthetically pleasing items. I just find it crazy how it went from thirty five to like sixty eighty dollars, and I'm like, yeesh. I was complaining about thirty five when I first bought it. Imagine now. Mm mm. It couldn't be me but think so yeah drink your water while you sipping on alcohol you want to sip on water too it's gonna make a difference in the morning you're not gonna feel you know because because the hangover is basically dehydration so if you're gonna be drinking hydrate yourself with water you know or like maybe like a, a suero you know like a um electrolyte drink Gatorade, probably um, vitamin water, something that is going to replenish your hydration. Definitely sip on that while you're drinking alcohol. Maybe even mix your drinks with that instead of drinking juice. But um, instead of mixing it with juice or whatever, your chaser. All in all, I'm trying to say that I had time to sit down with my thoughts. I was drinking and um, I had... The only, like, I have no car. There's nowhere for me to go. Like, I'm not about to pay Uber to go anywhere, to see anyone. Any money I get right now has to go to my car. And anything else besides that is just not that important to me. It can wait. It's literally that simple. So, like, I have, I'm literally stuck in my house. I have nothing to do, nowhere to go. So, I clean my house. I deep clean my house. And it's still not, like, it's still not as clean as I need it to be. Because there's still things that need to be put away like for instance this right here the hookah that i did last night i just left it there because it was late i just filled up my water but like my straw don't fit so i'm letting it um melt a little bit my ice is too hard so i'm letting it melt a little bit so i can close this um i want to figure out where i can store these things 
this is my daily usage of stuff. Like I have to take Metamucil every morning because uh, my digestive my digestive system doesn't do well without it. Like I really have a hard time moving my bowels, TMI. But uh, yeah, and then I gotta take my daily vitamins. This is alcohol. This don't even belong here. It's not my daily use. And then I always have a water bottle here because I fill out my my Stanley cup or my my bottle of water for work. I usually fill it up with whatever water I have left here from either taking my vitamins or like my Metamucil. And then I've been taking my bone broth, my boon broth. I love this thing. I'm going to be purchasing more. This is my mom's water bottle. And then I got all this miscellaneous stuff. Like this is my old glasses that I don't wear anymore because I got new ones. So that can go. I can figure out where to get, where to uh, put these things. My AirPods I like to leave here because I always be on the go and these things are so hard to find and so easy to lose. So I just leave it there, you know, it's easy access. But I don't like the clutter on my um, on my island. And I also have more clutter over there. Like I got gloves over there that don't belong. I got my blood sugar stuff because I am hypoglycemic. Um, a jar of pickles that I left it out because DJ was eating it every day, but then he stopped. He's like not really feeling it anymore. So I'm about to put that into the pantry. And then I got my fruits here. And yeah, like this soap, this, this soap holder, this could like definitely, I could find somewhere to put that in my room. This hand sanitizer in case, you know, quick fix. You don't really want to like wash your hands. I don't know why, but if you don't feel like it, then there's hand sanitizer available. And yeah, that kind of stuff is the stuff that I have to figure out where to go. I'm going to take out the trash later on. So I left this here because all of that is going to the trash. Um, I took out the trash already, but it's just like sitting in my other trash, in my valet part, in my valet trash, and just don't fit in there. So I gotta, put, I gotta bag that up. I gotta put all of that in one bag so that they could come pick it up, because otherwise they will not. But yeah, look, guys, I definitely cleaned up my. Um, there's nothing on top like how it was before. I cleaned up my bookshelf. I literally this don't belong here, and I don't want to end up losing it. So let me go put, go ahead and put it back where. It does belong, but I cleaned up and I even got rid of the flowers on this vase thingy. It doesn't look Christmassy anymore, but it looks it looks pretty uh, weird, honestly. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave it there for now, you know, until I figure something out because it's like it's still it's still green. So until it dies, you know, or whatever. And then I got um. Yeah, I just, I wiped down my actual bookshelf because everything in this area, guys, was very dusty from the Christmas tree, the, the snow flock. I don't know how it landed everywhere, you know. And then when I was taking down the tree, the dust just got, just started um, scattering around the whole entire house. Hence why I had to like really, really like, um, I really had to like vacuum and I vacuumed so good. But you see, all of this was dusty and, and it was just white. It was looking nasty. And then I started to finish my laundry. I folded some. I have to put that away. I have to wash these bed sheets. But I'm thinking about doing that after my mom leaves. Because, um, I don't know. I might do it before. But then if I do it before, I got to do it after again. Because once I tuck these and put them away, they got to be nice and clean for me to put them away. But yeah, I vacuumed my house. The house is smelling really, really good. Just the way I like it. I still have to clean out my office desk. Um, this is where my mirror was at before when the Christmas tree was over there, but I moved the mirror back over there. So I don't understand why Kitty loves sitting on the table. I do not appreciate that. Cause I really don't let her do that, but I'm gonna let her rock for now. But see, my table looks messy. Like I gotta clean that up. And which I will. I just wanted to have the overall area of my house looking clean, which it does. And it definitely helps with my mental health. Going, I don't know, like I always, I always stress this in my videos where it's like, when you're not feeling great, when you're not feeling your best self, the only best thing you can do for yourself is to clean. I promise you once you clean, and that's gonna be the, like the least thing you wanna do. 
when you're going through anything. I could tell you that from from experience. Nobody ever like gets in a car accident and be like, let me clean my house. Like that is the least thing you're worried about when you're like going through life. But let me tell you that when you do decide to clean your house when you're going through it, you're gonna you're gonna start to feel a little much better. I promise you, it feels better because I don't know what's in clutter, but it creates a lot of negative energy and it just feeds into your already problematic lifestyle. You know, like it feeds into your bad energy, whatever energy that, that got you in that funk and that slump, it feeds into it. Like it doesn't, it does not help you feel better at all. But when you clean, you actually be like, oh, okay. It, Things don't, things suck, but it doesn't feel that bad right now. And then little by little, you just start doing better and better. So, yeah, I cleaned my house. Thank God that my my mom and my son is not here. I can actually clean the way I want to clean. And uh, I'm just taking it one step at a time. That's all I can do. Take it one step at a time. And it's not like I don't have a solution in, in line. I do. So, that's another thing. I have to tell myself, like, girl... Your car is already at the shop getting fixed. Like, you just got to basically deal with how to get to work and how to take DJ to school for two weeks, which two weeks do sound long, but, like, it's better than not having a car at all. So, I just came on here to try to, like, tell y'all that it's okay. Like, I'm going through life right now, and it's okay. So, I'm pretty sure that if you're going through something right now, you will find the way through this. Don't lose your faith. And also, like, include God on in everything you do because God sees things that you don't even see. God already played out the game for you. He already put the pieces of the puzzles for you together. You just you just look in that one piece when he's he already got the whole puzzle put together. And so have faith and never lose sight of what you striving for is always obtainable this is just a little bump on the road and we will all get through this together it is in god and the universe best interest for us to have the lifestyle that we deserve we just gotta go ahead and chase it and even though like i felt literally defeated i cannot let those temporary defeating moments dictate my life because I would have messed around and moved back backwards. Like, I would have ended up having to lose this apartment, lose my job. Who knows? Like, things could have got so much worse than what it really needs to be. And I would have been back to square one. And who wants to go back to square one? No, there's no moving backwards over here. We move forward and forward only. Like I said, when you reach rock bottom, you only got one more route to go. There's no other rock bottom. You already at rock bottom. Go up. Go back up. So, go back up, sis. You got this. I got this. You got this. Prioritize your priorities. <sighs> pray, pray, pray. Don't lose sight. Don't lose faith on the Lord. Don't think that the universe and the Lord is against you. Don't think that you are punished. This is not a punishment. This is not a punishment. This is just a, hey, this is just a reminder. A, hey, you are coming off track a little bit. I have to humble you a little bit for you to reroute where you were supposed to go because you 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 reroute it, you reroute it like you were supposed to go on this lane. You somewhere down the line you made left and no no no, I need you focus. So that's basically all that God is doing right now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my coffee, do my video, and I'm actually gonna sit in my office. I should clean it first before I sit there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to challenge myself to do that. I'm gonna clean my office space and I'm gonna work on videos. I got a I got two thumbnails to do and then I'm gonna schedule my three videos that I already um that I already have on my YouTube studio. Post that. A lot of these videos are old guys, so I'm sorry. Just to give y'all a heads up, y'all gonna be seeing Christmas stuff like probably for February, but <laughs> I promise you after that we will get it together and it will be so much better. I'm sorry I am holding myself accountable to still put my content out and no matter how late it is 
and just do better. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be hard on me. I'm trying. I'm still new to this, but you know we gotta keep the ball rolling. So I'm just gonna. I'm just here to tell y'all that. Fair warning. These videos that are coming up are super old. So if you see a Christmas tree in the background, just mind your business. <laughs> So I ran out of storage on my SD card, so I put one of my old ones, but it's not 4K, so I don't know if it's going to affect the video quality, and if it does, then I apologize in advance, but um, here's what it's giving. I wanted to come on here and say I like doing vlogs with you guys because it gives you guys a chance to get to know me on a more personal level. Um, I'm not a secretive person but i'm very very private honestly i don't enjoy talking about myself to others because people always think that it's kind of like stuck up tendencies and selfish but yet people have so much questions to know about me so it's like how do you win how do you win you don't you just let people figure you out and those that want to inquire and get to know you on a deeper personal level they will do just that and those that don't then they would do, do just that too and guess what i'm gonna be fine either which way you put it what in the world is going on next door why are we yelling but anywho i was going to put lashes on but i really don't want to be beat like I'm not trying to look like hella beat just to sit in the house and I go nowhere. Like that's never been my cup of tea. I mean it, it used to be a norm for me to be honest. But I kinda outgrew that stage in my life where like I care to look cute at home. I care to look cute, but I don't care to be like beat makeup wise. Like I don't need the makeup to be at home. Maybe concealer like right now. Like, I literally just put it under my eyes and mixed it in with some powder. And my face looked like I put foundation on all over my face, and I really didn't. So, yeah, I would do that at most. But I don't really think that putting eyelashes right now would be, would be necessary. Excuse me. I wanted to finish up by saying that... Uh, I like doing the, the vlogs because it gives people a chance to get to know me on a more personal level and shows personality you know I have a lot of personality that I don't show people like I try to like keep it professional if you will at all times and it's like that's not how I conduct myself 24 7 for the most part yeah I do and I'm not out here trying to fake it till I make it but like seriously speaking like there's literally lots of of versions of me that people don't know unless you really personally know me and if you watch my vlogs you get a gist of that so 
that's why I like doing the vlogs but I also like doing my sit down videos because I feel like I come on here and I talk about real life stuff I'm trying not to curse <laughs> I come on here and talk about real life stuff that people really like myself be going through and it be necessary so I don't want to stop doing that because I know if I'm helping somebody out in this world I'm gonna feel so accomplished and so fulfilled like all I want all I want is to be to someone to be the friend and sister that I never had that's all I want for somebody, for somebody, anybody out there that's watching my videos. I hope that one day I get to be that person that I needed in my own journey, you know? And little do y'all know, some of y'all are literally just that to me too because I be reading my comments and I know that I sucked at responding at some point in my life, uh, but... I be, I be responding to comments and I be reading my comments and a lot of y'all, the good ones, the nice ones, y'all really be touching my heart. Y'all be giving me hopes, you know, because starting YouTube is literally not easy at all. Like, growing your channel is so hard. It's awkward as hell because it feels like you're talking to yourself. Like, literally no one really supports you until you already, like long gone in the game where you already where you already became where you already got your following and and everything once you're already like big enough to get that recognition that's when people want to like support you they don't ever support you when you're going through it at the beginning stations where you're like starting off and it's really hard because that's really discouraging but i've been three years in the game and i only got 226 subscribers thank you to each and one of y'all and I'm still going and I have faith that it will get better by the end of this year. I'm going to have my little, my little following is going to grow. Things are going to go in my, in my best interest. And I just can't wait to like, to like get there and share it with those who actually support what I'm doing, you know, because it's not a lot of support out there. Even like your own friends and family, they're gonna probably ridicule you or maybe not even ridicule you, but they'll definitely not be supportive. And it's like, okay, but you'll find them asking you for support when like you already up there in game. And then it's gonna be a different energy because you're gonna be like, you weren't there for me. So why do I need to be there for you? And you're not because we're not people pleasing nobody. But it's like people gonna then talk about you and say, oh, you too stuck up, you think you too good, da 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 da. And it's like, no, no ma'am, no ham. When I needed your support, where were you at? Don't come over here with that support nonsense now because one thing about me, I'm going to make it. I'm going to do what I gotta do with or without support, with or without people, you know? But those that are there for me and i know those like when it comes to friends and people that i know i know who's there for me supporting and i appreciate y'all truly deeply from the bottom of my heart but it'd be the strangers that be supporting you the most and i just cannot wait to like you know i get there and like build my community and bear the fruits of my labor you know i'm always preaching positivity like it's it's kind of sucks a lot because like this is a whole conversation that we could have another day but like this this video is really touching because i spoke about a lot of shit in this video sorry for cursing again but it's really really hard out here for people and if you're watching this and you're trying to start a YouTube channel, like, I just want you to know that it's really, really hard out here for folks. Like, <laughs> don't get discouraged. Um, I get discouraged all the time, but I still keep going. It's three years. And by, by the third year, I thought I would be big by now, but like, I'm not. And it's, it's, perf it's God's timing, God's perfect timing. And that doesn't mean that you need to stop doing what you got to do. That just means that you got to get on your Zoom and keep doing what you got to do. I mean, keep doing what you're doing and keep doing what you got to do and you'll see that life will get easier and better for you it's always going to be in your favor because god is so big and powerful that he wants this for you as much as you want this for yourself but sometimes you got to ask yourself like how bad do you want it like for me like i've always wanted it but i haven't really been putting in the work like that because i really hate editing but if i want to do this if i really want to do this i gotta learn to love it you know i gotta learn to do it just like Anything else that you do in life, you gotta 
wake up and brush your teeth you gotta you gotta like get dressed you gotta feed yourself so this is just one other thing that i gotta look at it as that and so do you if you're wanting this for yourself but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and um finish my amazon videos and i'll come and chat with you guys in a little bit bye